Hi everyone. So in this video, I wanted to talk about how to communicate with me and how to keep up with the class, basically. So this is an online class, online asynchronous. So that means that we don't have class meetings. We won't be meeting at a certain time. We won't be physically meeting anywhere. We won't be meeting on Zoom, nothing like that. You won't really need a webcam unless you meet with me and you want to video chat with me, but otherwise you can just do voice. So it's important that I tell you how to communicate with me because you won't see me in person and you won't see your classmates in person. So how to keep up with the class. I mostly communicate with the entire class through announcements. So what I recommend is to enable notifications through, you know, our course site. So on our course site, I have specific instructions on that, right? On week one instructions or, yeah. But beyond that, if you're just checking our course site, then you'll automatically see that. You won't need to uh, have those notifications. But I think it's better if you just do both. You check our course website and you uh, enable notifications so that you get those uh, emails stating, oh, there's a new announcement posted. So um, check announcements. Check, actually read those announcements. <laughs> So it's one thing to notice, okay, there's a new announcement posted, but it's another thing to actually read it. So read it because I usually outline, you know, what to do for that week. Um, and then also beyond that, just check your student email because you may have emailed me and then I'm responding. Remember to check it for that response. You may have other emails from other professors. You may have emails from student organizations, from uh, financial aid. It's just important to keep up with your email. Uh, so I have instructions on how to log in and I really recommend downloading Outlook on your phone or on your iPad or um, just logging in on your laptop. I know a lot of you, um, you know, your laptop is your world. Have the actual mail, the Outlook mail app installed and signed in. Because I know a lot of people just sign in on the web, but it's easy to forget, you know, it's easy to forget logging in, going to that website to actually check your email. So having the actual application installed on your mobile device or on your laptop or desktop is super helpful. So. Now, that's the course in general. That's just school in general, right? Keeping up with your classes. What about emailing me when you have a question? So I have my email everywhere in the syllabus, everywhere in my announcements, everywhere. You will always see it. So the, that's no issue. You can find it easily. What about anything else? So I enjoy using Teams. So on the syllabus, on my signature on every single announcement, I have the direct link that takes you from, you, you know, as long as you're logged in on your Teams, it'll take you directly to my chat. So on the portion or the link where I say chat with me via Teams, you click it, it's gonna take you directly to my um, chat. Um, or it, it'll direct you uh, to a chat uh, where you can send me a message and it'll start the actual chat and it'll save in your Teams. So definitely recommend that because it's it's easier than email. You don't have to you know write a subject and you know how email is. You can also call me through there. Now, this, I have it just in case, but I would prefer if you want to set up a call, you book it through my appointment system. Um, so I have a link again, 
every signature, it's on the syllabus, it's everywhere on every appointment, sorry, every announcement, I have my appointment booking link on there. I try to be very redundant so that you're like, okay, I know where it is. Or if you don't feel like checking your email, you're just like, okay, it's here on the announcement, I can click it. So you can book the appointment with me and then we can, uh, you know, decide on a time or you pick a time that works for you. And obviously it works for me because I have it on the booking system. And then we meet that way. So just to sum everything up, and before I go on to these next few details, email, it's everywhere. Syllabus, announcements, signature on emails I send. You can chat via Teams through that direct link I have available. You can set up an appointment, which is going to be through Teams, which is why I recommend downloading Teams. Uh, and then obviously announcements through our course website. So. Beyond that, what are some details I would like for you to know? So my pronouns are she, her, a, yeah. So if you happen to be, you know, speaking about me to an advisor or to a classmate uh, and you're like, oh, she told me, you know, I, uh, this is how you solve this problem. I'm using she as a pronoun, right? So those are my pronouns. Um, please abide by calling me either Professor or Professor Martinez or Professor Martinez Maldonado, whichever one of those, or prof Professor M for, you know, just keep it short, that's perfectly fine. But um, I ask that all my students respect this. And if you send me an email where you are not following this, you know, guideline, I will just simply just remind you of these guidelines that I set for me and expectations and just ask that you try again. And it's really not a big deal. You know, once you uh, are familiar with those guidelines or I remind you of those, we just move on and I continue on, right? It's, it's not a big deal. Don't feel like it's anything personal. Um, you can let me know your pronouns if you want. It's completely up to you. And if I ever m make a mistake, please know that I will correct myself and apologize. And then just be um, civil on any discussion posts that we do have, especially the introduction posts, um, because we want to keep our classroom you know, friendly and welcome for everyone. So those are all the communication guidelines slash class guidelines, class communication guidelines I have. Um, if you do have any questions about that, just let me know. Again, through email or Teams, anything works. And I'm here for you for whatever you need.